Good day. Welcome back. Um, now this is a quick update on um, what's happening. Now what I've found is that if you have a complete full tonnage of cargo, your refinery will double up. Um, but if you don't have a complete full ton, it will not double up. Um, but you only get two extra bins. So you can see there I've got these two, I've got these two extra, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bins. So we've got three of these ones. Another one sitting into there, and all the bits are probably dead by now. So that is that one. Uh oh. No. Great, I have to fix this up now. <laughs> Bear with me, I'm just gonna quickly realign my track IR if it will let me scoop retracted. uh oh that's failed uh, why are you failed I want that track IR oh, don't shrink down I want you to come up now track IR is back up and running that's better and what we'll do is I'll play the newsletter again and I'll do a little bit more ice mining. Greetings Commander Black Dragon. Welcome to the Elite Dangerous newsletter number 130. This week we take a look at some great content from the community in our Horizons highlights. Bring you important news about upcoming changes and adjustments to the engineers and give you all the details of our huge summer sale. As always, you can hear the latest news and updates directly from the development team on our forums, Twitter, Facebook, community homepage, and right here in the newsletter every week, and we're always Cargo eager to hear your feedback. Contents this week, Horizons Highlights, The Engineers Update, Summer Sale, Programming Dangerous Limpid Games, Cargo Rise to Power, Educating Ed, the First Limpid Great Limpid Expedition, Cargo hold Community Event, Rainbow's Podcast, Gallant Focus, Community Goals Update, Programming Horizons Limpid Highlights, we're always impressed by the screenshots Limpid and videos our community post on social Limpid media Limpid and our forums, here's a collection Limpid of a few of our favourites from this week. The capital ship sitting very close to the surface of Morok 2A has definitely not gone unnoticed. Commanders have explored, attacked and investigated this monolith of a ship. But CMDRs DR Stone and Avant afraid to traverse the unknown, taking their SRV up and going boldly where no SRV has dared to go before. For science. One of the reasons that C. Fortain Fortain loves the Diamondback Explorer is its versatility and its ability to land just about anywhere. We're wondering what other extreme landing conditions other CMDRs have witnessed on planetary surfaces. A small tribute from redditor slash you slash hateful snake who shows off the majesty of the Imperial Clipper in what he calls a tribute to Horizons. We salute you, Commander and hope Respect you enjoy continued engaged. success whilst basking in the Imperial Clipper. The Engineers Update You may well have seen our recent posts after the Engineers 2.1, which highlights some of the feedback that we've taken on board and changes we've made based on that feedback. You'll have noticed that we've made a number of server and point updates including a host of immediate bug fixes and balances to NPC behavior as well as allowing you to select the experimental modification type from engineers, reducing the rare allocations to make the unlocking of engineers easier and local news articles at engineers bases to give more information on where to find specific materials. However, that's not all. As ever we are working hard to ensure that player feedback is at the heart of Elite Dangerous and we just wanted to share with you a few more changes that we are planning for our next major point update. We are aiming for the end of July, early Asteroid August, defeated. there may be a few minor point updates and stability fixes before then. In order to continue to address the feedback raised regarding both the grind and RNG nature of the engineers we're going to making the following changes. 
we will be adjusting the way the surface scanner works to allow you to see what materials are available from any given planet. This should make locating materials far easier. In addition we are making a number of changes to the lowest level blueprints. This includes improving the positive effects of low level upgrade results as well as reducing the cost and simplifying the materials needed. We're also increasing the number of units you get for each instance of a material you find. This means instead of getting one unit of a material, you will get multiple units of that material. This will allow you to increase the number of attempts at each engineer. We'll be increasing the number of materials spawned when surface mining. Again, to make the process easier and the materials easier to gather. The likelihood of finding rare materials in these instances will also be increased, meaning it will be easier to use higher level blueprints. And we will be reviewing the balance and locations of non-planet salvage and reviewing the possible USS locations for each material. Not to mention the changes that we've made in the recent point update. To be able to select your weapon upgrade and give you control over what module you leave with, reducing the requirements to unlock certain engineers and increasing the visibility of where materials can be sourced, should help to make the engineers more accessible and more rewarding for players venturing down to the planet's surface in search of a new upgrade. As always the development team will continue to read and review your feedback to allow us to make the best possible experience for the community. Thank you for your continued patience and support. Summer Sale Until 4th July we have a massive selection of game extras discounted across all platforms including paint jobs and bobbleheads on the Frontier Store and Xbox One Marketplace so you can unlock a host of customization for your favorite ships. Additionally, until the same date, you can also take advantage of a 33% discount off selected Elite Dangerous bundles on Steam and the Frontier Store including Elite Dangerous, Elite Dangerous, Horizons Season Pass, and Elite Dangerous Commander Deluxe Edition. Pick up the Elite Dangerous Horizons Season Pass today for only £13.39, €16.74. $20.09 or of $997,63. Dangerous Games, Rise to Power. This week in the Dangerous Games we saw the final wildcard community goals take place and the group who will be joining the finalists to battle it out to become a full power in the game has been decided. It was a long series of community goals and the groups that took part were extremely dedicated, every one of them should be immensely proud of their achievements. However, only one can progress and e.g. pilots, our Russian speaking community will be joining Ed, the Border Coalition, Galkov, Ikunsev as they battle it out to ascend up into a full power. Join us as we will be finding out more about all of the groups involved in the finals and setting them some fun challenges too. Be sure to tune in on our official YouTube channel, Tuesday the 28th of June at 7pm BST. Educating Ed, First Great Expedition. Educating Ed is back and this time he's taking a trip with the well-loved player group First Great Expedition. From the beginnings of group exploration to a fellowship of galactic explorers, the first great expedition has come a long way. Join the galactic in turn as he embarks on this momentous journey live on our official YouTube channel Thursday the 30th of June at 7 p.m. BST. Community Event, YouTubers Podcast. Save a date in the diary as some of the biggest video makers in the Elite Dangerous community invite you to join them and talk about a range of topics. Join Cornelius Breedis, Obsidian Ant, Chaos Wall, Vindicator Jones, and Drabartin at 2 p.m. BSD Sunday the 26th of June on Vindicator Jones channel. Galnet Focus. Welcome to our weekly roundup of news stories and events in the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. With the third and final stage of the Dangerous Games wildcard competition over, the results of each heat have been reviewed to determine which faction received the most support over the course of the campaign. 
The final result indicates that the winner of the wild card competition is the EG Pilots. The victors will now enter the Rise to Power campaign, which will begin on the 30th of June 3302. Recent reports indicate the Empire is attempting to take the Garamo system from the Federation. An emergency call for aid has been issued to all Federation Alliance pilots, while the Empire has put out a similar request to Imperial pilots. Both sides have set out week-long operations to take control of the system. A spokesperson for the technologically progressive Enclave Utopia confirmed that its appeal for exploration data has reached a successful conclusion. In a statement, the spokesperson confirmed that the campaign received the enthusiastic support of the galactic community, resulting in large quantities of fresh exploration data. Simguru Pranathanthal, leader of Utopia and architect of the initiative, released a statement thanking those who supported the campaign. Community Goals Update Greetings, Commanders, and welcome to this week's Community Goals Blog. If you're looking for a goal, the breakdown below should help. The Battle of Down, Federation, Night Sport, Daromo System, help the Federation defend the Daromo System from the Empire by handing in combat bonds at Night Sport. The Battle of Daromo, Empire. Burkle and Doc, Daromo System, help the Empire take the Daromo System from the Federation by handing in combat bonds at Burkle and Doc. The Battle for Daromo. The Daromo System is currently under federal control, but recent reports indicate that both Imperial and Independent forces are attempting to wrest power from the Federation. The Federation is evidently not about to capitulate. In a statement, Admiral York of the Federal Navy said, the Darimo system is of considerable strategic value to the Federation, and we will not surrender it without a fight. We have issued an emergency call to all Federation Alliance pilots. You are needed in Darimo. The Empire, predictably, has responded in kind. Asteroid Captain Dan Bez of the Imperial Navy said. In the interest of the well-being of the citizens of Darimo, it is imperative that Imperial law be instated as soon as possible. If the Federation is allowed to retain control of the system, the people of Daromo will be sure to suffer. The independents of Daromo have stepped in to coordinate operations on behalf of the Federation, while the Vaca citizens of tradition have been authorized to oversee the Imperial campaign. Both factions have set out week-long operations to take control of the system, which will begin on the 23rd of June 3302. Thank you for listening to the Elite Dangerous Newsletter number 130. Okay, so now we're pretty much back to this before. We should have eight, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's an empty one there, so that would make it nine, another one down there would make it ten. But as you can see, that is, if you have only, it's only eight items, so you'll eventually get there. The only time you get more than one item in a given bin is when you have a uh, complete full cargo hull. Anyway, my name is um, King Admiral Commander Black Dragon Double Elite signing off. Thank you again for watching the update um, of this video. I'm going to continue on mining and um, have fun. You all have a great day now and all comments are welcome.